I didn't come to speak. I just came to sit. And um, amen. I, um, when Pastor... Really, I, I just came. Um, I, I spoke with Bishop uh, Anton, and um, you know, it, it's wonderful. His father was so proud of him. And um, I just called him and I said, I wish Pastor McClurkin hadn't told you I was coming because I was just coming. He was asking me, did I need some? I, no, I need you to just go through what you're going through because I understand that. Uh, when your father is your hero, then you then you you miss more than a father. And um, you know, um, but I, I have one memory. I had come. I don't know. Was I here to preach for something? And anyway, he took us. And he, you know, he wanted me to go play golf. I said I can't golf. And so uh, we went to dinner to his steakhouse and uh, and Pastor McClurkin went with me and my musician Anthon joined us and uh, we sat there and we ate and when we finished we went out to this mall area and there was a piano store so I, I can't just walk past the piano and so Bishop Anthon, Pastor McClurkin, myself, Bishop Frank White, and my musician who came to play for me. We all got on a piano. And we all started playing Amazing Grace. And he played it in his old chords. And then we just all played in a chord in the era in which we grew up. And the man came over and said, Wow, all of y'all, he was just amazed. And I will forever have that memory. Uh, it, it, was, it was just one of those moments that you hadn't planned. And so I just praise God for his friendship. And uh, I guess let the church say amen. Yeah. To Mother Rivers, to all of these bishops, to Bishop Rogers who keeps getting younger, <laughs> to Bishop Brewer. I had to be about 30 years ago, I preached at his church. And uh, let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. God has spoken, so let the church say. second verse. I need you to say it. When your dream's about to die, knowing God is not a man, he just can't lie. And no matter what, what the devil does, you got a word that has come say so 